The Philippines entering a bear market. How coupled is the Philippines with the region? And is there an upside? Dennis Lim, Emerging Market Strategist and Portfolio Manager of Templeton Emerging Markets Group, is live in Singapore. Hi, Dennis. How insulated do you think the Philippines is from this regional contagion? Well, I don't think um, any country can be insulated. Um, what's more important is the degree to which they are impacted by what's happening firstly in China and secondly the rest of the world. Okay, do you think that the Philippines is less sensitive to China then? Let me rephrase that question. Yes, I, I, I do believe that you know, if you look at the Asian countries, the Philippines is one of the few markets that is a little more insulated from what's happening in China. A couple of reasons for this. If you look at flows, you know, in recent years into the Philippines, you know, it's not been as um, staggering as flows into, say, Singapore or Indonesia, etc. So, you know, the impact, I believe, you know, would be a little more muted. I think this OFW issue with um, the Philippines also is a, a big factor. Okay, we have entered a bear market today. How do you think we can uh, stem these outflows or advance these outflows back or make them come back into the Philippine market? Well, if you look at the outflows compared to you know, outflows in other markets, you know, the uh, outflows from the Philippines has been fairly muted. I, I don't think any of the Asian countries you know, can you know, really run away from this issue. In the last, uh, in the last uh, five, six years or so since the GFC, the inflows, you know, the FDI inflows into ASEAN is in the region of 400 billion. You know, and with you know, rates now looking on the uptrend, you know, clearly you know, the, the risk reward has changed. So we should see outflows. I think a little bit of outflows is probably healthy you know, as long as it doesn't get too, you know, too, uh, too protracted. Okay. Um, could you give us your outlook on, local, on the local stock market, the Philippine Stock Exchange? And do you have a number of what, how it will perform this year in 2016? We have just sank down to the 6,300 level. Well, it's hard to say where the market's going from here. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of trying to predict, you know, the unpredictable. You know, but if you look at the bigger picture, the Philippines is in a reasonably better, or I should say relatively better position than, you know, other ASEAN markets, simply because, as I mentioned, you know, the inflows from OFW, the fact that the economy continues to grow at a very, very fast clip. You know, we're expecting about 5, 5.5% 5 .5 this year. Um, and domestic consumption, you know, is, is a big factor in the Philippines. So I, I, my personal feeling is that the Philippines should be a little more sheltered, you know, from what's going on than, uh, you know, a number of other markets uh, in ASEAN.